Hey everybody, it's Tayon here with the first episode of a six-part series covering mentality. We're here to optimize your mentality for constructive and positive thinking that will help you learn and improve as a player and as a person in the quickest way possible. It's meant to help you deal with toxicity, not only from other players, but from yourself as well. We're all toxic in some way or another, whether you like it or not. Some are worse than others, and nobody is perfect. But the biggest goal is that everyone learn together and improve as a community, and that's what I'm here to help you all with today. Mentality is not always about toxicity, it's very much more importantly about learning the game. Most people's mentality is actually destructive to their learning process and holds them back from performing at their best. Some things I would like to say before I get started, this series will not be the end of the channel. My focus on this channel will be mostly analysis, theory crafting, and possibly some more snippets of mentality, such as things brought up in the series but actually put into practice. Just letting you guys know right now, you will never be perfect at the qualities talked about in this series. The best you can do is get as good as possible at each one. Perfection cannot be reached in anything, but it can always be worked towards. I make plenty of mistakes too. I can't always act the way I preach in this series, but at least I can recognize when I'm not and realize when I'm making excuses for my own poor plays. Recognizing when your mentality is not where it should be is the biggest key factor in learning and improving. The information in this series is not 100% my work and ideas. Most of the concepts were given to me by a friend named Neuro Starcraft. He is a, obviously, a Starcraft streamer who was my biggest inspiration in competitive gaming. I used to be a rager just like most of the online community, I was just one of the worst. But it was through his guidance and wisdom that I was able to change my ways and I could never be more thankful. He's such an amazing role model for anyone looking to improve in any game. I would highly suggest checking out his live stream and possibly even his YouTube channel which I will link both in the description below. He had such a big impact on me that I wanted to spread his message to other gaming communities as well. I asked him for permission to use this information for exactly that reason and he was more than happy to allow me to spread this. But please know I am not simply preaching his word because I like him as a person. This mentality is what I've been practicing for the past two years now and has changed the way I think in a very positive manner. It is his words and ideas, but mixed with my experience and support. Now let's get right into the main part of the video. Let's start by recognizing some of the biggest mistakes people make, and that's placing blame and making memes of excuses for either losses or performances. Memes can include, but are not limited to, that hero is OP, my team is bad, and that team comp is broken. Placing blame does not tell you what went wrong. Wrong. Blaming and making excuses provides zero information to allow you to improve. Anything that is not constructive needs to not be thought or spoken. Instead, look at your own gameplay. Look at what you could have done better. Widow versus Winston, for example. I could cry about how Winston counters me and it's impossible to fight him. Or I can look at how I played the fight and look at exactly what I could have done to make his life as hard as possible, even if I'm still gonna die. In any given time, you're given a set of options. I think of it as a large bank of possible decisions to make. Some decisions are better than others. This does not mean your outcome will always be good though. For an example, would you rather lose your Reinhardt and force Mercy to do a one-man res to hold a point, or would you rather lose both of your healers? Now neither is a good outcome for you. You're either losing a key ultimate or you're losing both of your healers. Both of them are not good outcomes, but one is always better than the other, and that's what I mean when I'm talking about optimal decisions. Self-analysis will help you decide which of your decisions could have been better so that you could have made the most optimal decisions throughout the entire game. This kind of analysis will help you improve your own play over time. Blaming your team for any reason or even mentioning the faults of your team provides absolutely no information about your decisions and why they weren't optimal, therefore are not worth the effort. You have no right to complain about anyone or anything holding you back if you are not doing everything you can to improve. So by looking at your own team's faults, you're denying yourself opportunities to improve and therefore are holding yourself back and have no right to complain about your team when you don't care enough about winning or getting better to take the initiative yourself and get better with the tools available to you. If you look at games like poker, chess, and starcraft and you go onto a forum looking for assistance in improving your gameplay, they're going to criticize your big decisions obviously, but a lot of the times they will criticize your smaller decisions. In poker, it might be your dollar amounts. In Starcraft, it will be precise unit placements, timings down to the very second, and more. 
Actions can be evaluated independent of the controller. There is nothing inherently different between a professional player playing Genji and you playing Genji when talking about what is possible with the hero. The only difference is decisions. So if you're playing a high level, high rank, pro, or with a bad player, or whatever, don't discredit or brush off any actions or decisions made by anyone simply because of who they are or what stats are associated with them. Look at the decisions themselves and evaluate them based Based on how they shape the game. The cooldown of a spell, how does it affect your team, how does it affect the enemy team, who's alive and who's dead, and everything else that is involved. Also, distance yourself from the game. You need to be able to, metaphorically, see more of what's going on in the game than what's on your own screen. You need to have a mental map of the game and who's dead and everything that's happening. If you die, you don't need to get upset. It doesn't matter. It's just a game. You can instead focus on what needs to be done in order to win. By distancing yourself from the game, you are not seeing it from just one point of view like the game would suggest by giving you only one character to look through the eyes of, but you can see the entire game from everyone's point of view. You can see everyone's actions, and you can be objectively analyzing the game. Use the information gathered to learn and see patterns. For example, when we push from this direction as this comp, we lose 4 out of 10 of our pushes based on the last few games on this map. When you die, don't just sit there and stare at the screen, think about what you could have done differently, theory craft, take notes, do something that helps you learn or gather information. Don't just waste time, analyze your gameplay. If your goal really is to get better, focus on every mistake you make. They can be small decisions like cursor placement or hero placements, also known as movements, or they can be bigger decisions like hero picks, ultimate timings, engagements, etc. Every single factor needs to be taken into account, especially including the small decisions. If you let those slip through the cracks, you're not going to be learning as much. Small decisions and big decisions are absolutely everywhere, even in professional play. Pros still make 30 plus mistakes per game. Most of those will be smaller decisions and not bigger decisions, that's why they're pros, but they will still be decisions nonetheless. The average plat player might make something like 100 to 150 mistakes per game. Still, most of those will be small decisions, but there are more small decisions and big decisions that were mistakes that were made on the player's side. So that's all I got for episode 1. Please like the video, comment, and subscribe to catch future videos. I hope you all enjoy the series. Once again, my name is Taeyeon. Thank you all for watching, and I'll see you next time.